What's the play here? Do you go with form? Do you go with maybe a player who fits the course, experience, good team room guy? Trip, you're the captain. What do you do? All of those things you just said. I, I mean, and Zach said it so perfectly. It's, it's not an exact science. There are certain things, and ultimately, it comes down to the captain's gut. And, and mm -hmm. I think current form is absolutely uh, the one thing that you need to trump over. Look, he, he's got four guys that are likely on the team that that don't have Ryder Cup experience. Um, if you look at the points and you look at at the the twelve players on the list right now, you know uh, Todd mentioned them. Wyndham Clark does not have experience. Brian Harmon. I'm not concerned about those guys because Wyndham Clark has form and so does Brian Harmon. And I think Brian Harmon is just going to be a bulldog in match play, especially when they antagonized him at the Open Championship. He relished it. Max Home is that guy that I think the chemistry part of it is not going to be a problem. He will be nervous, but he'll have the right guys around him to help him. And Cameron Young, I had questions about coming in to July, but he answered them with good play at John Deere in the Open Championship. So I don't think he's got any concerns with the four guys in here based on form where they stand right now with the rookies. So then you go to the experience and the rest of the guys on the team. The only guy that really doesn't have the form that you would want is Colin Morikawa. He's only, you know, he lost in a playoff to Ricky at the Rocket Mortgage and he hasn't been the Colin Morikawa that we've seen over the course of his career, but you're starting to see signs. So if you were going to replace him with somebody, do you replace him with Burns or Justin Thomas, who has not shown form? Neither of those guys have shown form. So then you look down the list for maybe some guy who I think will make some noise this week, by the way, is a guy like Denny McCarthy. He could play his way into that top 12. And then another guy as well is Tony Finau. He, he has that experience. He's won a couple of times this season. He played well uh, in defense of his title last week at 3M. But I think right now, if Zach just went with the 12 on that uh, that we just showed, I don't think anybody would say, oh, that's that team can't win. That team has really no chance. That's a team of mixture, of perfect mixture of veterans and young guys playing on form and in point. And uh, that'd be a formidable team to take over to Rome. All right, so uh, experience a question mark, but uh, Zach Johnson, obviously a rookie when it comes to being a captain, but the leadership structure has got a lot of experience, doesn't it, Hein? Oh, absolutely, and it has a nice contrast, and I think Zach is balancing it out with his vice captains. Zach is a very, you know, kind of quiet guy on the outside, extremely intense, a great competitor on the inside, mm -hmm. and he grew up that way. You know, co competition and clutch was kind of a family value at his dinner table. His, his sister's actually the best athlete in, in the <laughs> family, uh, and Zach was always competing in every sport, ba basketball, uh, soccer he was a little undersized obviously he chose golf but was good at everything and he just has that fire that I think you know the players will feed off of but then there's a softening aspect with someone like Stuart Sink who's obviously very competitive and a, and a great player but he's always been that empathetic guy the guy you could go to and talk to behind the scenes sometimes those guys are really important because the captain's so busy and the, you know some of the especially the, the rookies in Ryder Cup they just need someone to calm them down a little and there's no better guy than Stuart I mean he's been through everything obviously he's a, a major championship but he's been through big slumps he reminds me of Bruce Litsky during the 99 Ryder Cup with Ben Crenshaw Ben was, you know, very excitable and, you know, extremely intense. Uh, even though he's a soft-spoken guy, as a captain, he needed to calm down. And Bruce was the guy that calmed Ben and also calmed a lot of players because he was just such an even, wise sort of, you know, veteran who just made people feel relaxed. And I think Stewart can fill that role. All right, one of my favorite facts about Zach Johnson is that he wasn't even the number one golfer on his nope. own <laughs> high school golf team. But I think things have worked out okay for him. All right.